Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we are tackling the final bodywork prep. On this next episode, we are going to take care of the latches for the tailgate, the window opening for the rear glass, everything that we need to do to be able to get ready to paint in the following episode, we need to do right now. I need to have this thing out the door ready to go. So let's get to it. Before I hop in, I wanted to shout out this video sponsor, Cars Forbid. Cars for Bid is an auction broker that gives regular people like us access to dealer-only auctions. Now, I've bought over 50 cars, trucks, and motorcycles, and some of my best buys have been from Copart and IAAI. With over 100 daily auctions, it's a great way to find exactly what you're looking for at a great price. I've signed up to buy a new build on their site, and you can too. To sweeten the pot, if you use the link in the description below, you'll get 50 bucks off your first vehicle purchase. Support companies that support automotive content creators. Check them out at cars for bid So we have the rear tailgate here and thankfully I kept the pieces that I cut out of the tailgate in order to fit the taillights in Because we need them to be able to fit our latches in Honestly, I was having a bit of a mental block trying to figure out how I want to integrate these latches now that the taillights are in there and My solution is just to go underneath the taillight and put the latches in now, ideally from a truck standpoint, it's not the best to have the latches so far down low, but we can adjust it, we can make it work, and it's gonna be just fine. So once we have the hole, we can set our latch right in there and be good to go. So we got everything in there, everything lines up. There's a nice little gap at the bottom, so I'm feeling good about that. We'll replicate it on the other side, and then we'll have to take care of the aluminum side of things and install this on the inside of the bed. All right, so we got the tailgate back on here, and as you can see, we got the latch on there. Everything is looking good. So what I'll do is I'll put the strikers on the latches and then we'll just mark their position and then we'll know exactly where we need to drill our holes. The great part about these is you got a little adjustment side to side and a smidge up and down so you can really dial it in, but I'm confident we're pretty much there. All right, so I took a few measurements and with the tailgate all the way flat, that's kind of where I need the that bolt and then these marks down here are the back of the bracket and these toward the front are where I need to drill my holes. So let's, let's put that in and hopefully everything lines up. All right, so I finally got it all figured out. I've gotten everything bolted in. Take a look at what I got. So we got our latch in there. We got everything bolted up. So that side looks good. It's latching just fine. Same thing with the other side. And then of course I have my strap here as well. Right now, I haven't worked out how to easily unlatch it or how to release the tailgate. So right now, I'm kind of prying a screwdriver in on both sides and getting it to pop open. Um, the great part is, in the kit that Mark sends, he has these latches that go on each side and they pull to meet the tailgate handle in the middle. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna incorporate a like inside latch for it, if I'm just gonna let the actuator do it, but I'm gonna need a manual way to do it anyway. So I'll think about that and dream it up when I come to it. But it's just nice to be able to have a solid tailgate now and uh, not have to worry about the tailgate flying off like it did in this episode or driving down the road and seeing everything uh, pop off. So 
that'll be it for tonight. I'll get back to you all in the morning. All right, so we're looking good. We've got those latches in place. And now it's time to get the handle in. Let me show you what we got so far. So we got our area marked out. We have our flip kit base plate. And I also got the handles and the interior latch assembly that will bring both of them together as we flip open the latch. I've already got my area marked out, so I'm just gonna cut that out. We'll have to work on some sort of connection to get the latch extensions bolted in here, but we'll figure it out as we get to it. So we got the handle in, everything is looking good. It is releasing and closing solidly. Let's get the bed cleaned up and then we can install these uh, aluminum panels for the final time. I picked these things up at Amazon and what we'll do is this shank will go down into the aluminum floor supports. This will go on the face of the floors and then when you push them, they are release and then we'll be able to lift up the floors. But I got a lot of junk in here, so let's clean it out. I can make sure I know what I'm looking at and move on to the next thing. So I ended up putting this hinge down. Everything looks good here. This is the method that most of us Smith builders use to create that hinged area in the back. Um, if you're not using a piano hinge, then you're likely using um, a lot of smaller hinges, you know, spread out across this panel. Um, my decision was to use panel bond instead of a, a rivet or a bolt, just because I want the other side to appear clean and I'm trying to minimize the amount of bumps in the floor as much as possible. So this kind of saved me about five or six of them. We'll see how much it holds. Um, panel bond is really strong, but uh, there's a lot of torque on this panel because there's a lot of weight to the aluminum, you know, relatively speaking. So we'll see how it holds up and I'll end up trimming this side back a little bit so the hinge doesn't show. All right, so now I need some additional support in the center of the bed, especially if I'm gonna have the other one as a hinge panel. I'm going to end up putting nut certs on here and here, and I need one in the middle. So I've gotten this, this bent bracket. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to drill the hole through it, and then I'm going to reinstall this fastener that's in here. And that way I can put a nut cert on top to kind of butt the panel in. I'm probably going to let this sit up overnight, and the hinge still feels good. I had to clean out... Um, panel bond from in between the hinge pieces just to make sure that I have good consistency where I need it and no panel bond where I don't. The last thing I want is for the hinge to be stiff or lock up on me. But while I was waiting for that, I made some progress in the bed. I have added about 10 nut certs and bolts all the way around this panel. So this will be fixed and I can always use a four millimeter Allen key to zip all of that off, especially when I need fuel pump access. So this can be out of the way in 30 seconds. And I now have five fasteners right here where I need it. And then when that other piece finishes, it'll slide up underneath here. And then the hinge motion will give me exactly what I need to cover up this area. Damage is a strong word, but you know, I was trying to mess around with a few things. I had a rear diffuser from a Durango and I was hoping I can 
kind of grafted in here. So I have my exhaust cutouts and I was just gonna take care of the exhaust to kind of match the openings. But it ended up not working. I ended up chopping this piece out to kind of see what it looked like and I just hated it. So now I get to fiberglass all of this back in and I'm gonna rough it up, do everything I need to do, you know, get rid of this and then just undo control Z and we'll be back to normal. So here it goes. So we got everything sitting up. We got three layers down. And once all of this sets up and all of that sets up, I can flip this over, fill in any missing pieces with either kitty hair or some body filler, get it looking smooth. I can get that mounted in the bed and be totally done with the bed beside the tailgate cover, of course. And then maybe we can get this reinstalled on the car tomorrow. Really excited to finally get all of this back to normal. I kind of went down a rabbit hole with the diffuser. And that's not to say I'm not going to run any type of diffuser in the future. I'm thinking I just need a little bit more time to think through what I want to do, whether it's a slimline diffuser that's underneath with a hidden hitch cover, something like that. Um, I got to think about it a little bit more, but I'll come up with something good. All right. So a little bit of time has passed and I was getting ready to move this. But then I realize everything is stuck to the cardboard. Let's see what damage is done. Even though this could have turned out better, I'm pretty happy with it. And by the time I'm done body working it, it'll look like nothing ever happened. body worked in it's at about 320 grit right now feels really good it's gonna look even better once I start painting it I figure why not start on the rest of the body work since I'm not happy with what's going on in the trunk area let me show you that I say trunk like it doesn't have a bed now oh gosh all right so here's what it looks like right now and we already know I'm not happy with that I haven't been happy with that since I've done it um, but if you look up here my plan is to have this lip that's on the tailgate match the body line of what's going on with the quarter panel. So what I'll do is I'll end up cutting all along here. I'll probably take this tool and do it. And that way I can kind of contour the quarter panel into matching the lip of here and get that looking good. I also need to bring this lip on out so it can match the body line here. Um, there's gonna to need to be a gap, of course, because you need it to open and close efficiently, but we need to close in some of that. Need to bring it in, bring it up <laughs> and out a little bit. So that's more work that needs to be done. And then down here, I may need to bring this out just a little bit. I wanna keep this body line since it comes into the lower part of that tailgate nicely. So build up on this side build closer to the tailgate on this side. I kind of hacked away at this to try to fit the latch in there. So I need to be able to kind of clean that up a little bit. The body line looks good. Like this down looks really good. And here, that looks really good. I'm kind of more happy with the quarter panel than I am with this metal right here. So I got to decide what I want to do there, but, um, I may just try to smooth this out and keep it as is. Um, I'm gonna have to weld some additional metal over here, kind of bring that line on down. And then, as you can see, my tail lights, they've been dropped 
um, banged around the whole nine. But there are a couple of ill-fitting areas, like right here. Yeah, that looks a little rough. So I want to fix that. This light is scuffing this panel as I'm trying to enter it in there. So I need to grind all of that down and kind of create some more clearance because I don't want that to happen once it gets painted and all of that. I still got new lights for this thing too. So I need to be able to put those on. And then I don't know if that's bodywork or if I got a crack there that I need to fix, but I'll investigate. I think I need to do the same type of clearancing down here. So the finicky, minute pieces of bodywork that I need to do to kind of get this thing looking better. I'm going to try and take another swipe at this thing. We will see. Uh, my goal is to try to recreate that line. I want to create that line to go all the way across. But um, what I tried to do earlier was try to like make it all smooth in the middle, but that doesn't look right. It looks like I'm trying to hide something. So I think it's better just to continue those detail lines all the way across. But uh, yeah, once we get that, we'll be good. As far as the tailgate's concerned, oh God. See, that's exactly what happens. I forget that I didn't screw in the darn taillights. All right, so. <laughs> Oh God, all right. So this is in here, the hinge is in there, that looks great. I need to figure out some type of air shock system to hold it up, and then I need to install the buttons that'll serve as the retaining latches for this thing. So let's get to work. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. on Instagram have told me that I should keep the pursuit spotlight you know what goes right here and it's got to go I want a really clean look to the truck and the interior is going to be switched over to an SRT one as well now the only thing that'll stay pursuit are the auxiliary switches that are on the steering wheel everything else has got to go so while I'm doing body work no better time than now to get rid of the rivets that are right in here and then weld up that whole solid.
finally ready for primer and paint. So I'm gonna strip it all the way down, doors, hood, bumper, tailgate, all of that has to come off. I'm even gonna undo the wide body kit so we can paint all those parts individually and put it all back together. Appreciate you watching, talk to you in the next one.